Welcome to raikurkul.com. In this video, we'll discuss about another interesting concept of Jira automations. When we are talking about Jira rule-based automations, we always have different aspects to be covered. Now, I've already covered few of the videos on Jira automations. So if you want to learn about Jira automations, please watch my Jira automation playlist. And if you want to learn about Jira, so please watch my Jira. And if you are interested to learn about Jira API, probably you can refer my Jira playlist. I will also include all the playlist in my description so that it will be easy for you to refer. Now, when we are talking about Jira automation rule here, I will show you how we can create a confluence pages automatically without having any manual interventions. So let's understand the use case here. So my use case is like, let's say we have a team. So within the team, we, we were working about five members. So let's say these are the five members who is regularly interacting with each other, maybe in terms of DSU call or retrospective call or different other uh, calls. And they were working on very critical projects which required to create confluence pages for every issues or tasks they were working on it so that the people or the organizations can refer these documents for future point of view so let's say they have working on the task one and once the task is completed so once this task has been completed they have to immediately create a confluence pages so for creating a confluence pages this will consume a lot of time if if anyone wants to create this type of confluence pages they don't have to worry about it our automation rule will create it confluence pages for them so that the business team will track on the regular basis. So I will show you how we can generate this type of automation rule to add a confluence pages automatically. Now, if you're visiting this channel first time, don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. Now, this is my confluence page, which I want to create it through automation rule. For accessing the automation rule, we have to navigate it to the global automations by selecting just selecting a system. And then uh, once we we'll select the system, we'll see global automations. Within the global automation rule, uh, we have this create rule options. From here, let's say I want to first trigger transitions so my first requirement is once the issue will be updated it should create a confluence pages that should be locked and which is referred by everyone in future so from the status point of view i am not selecting from status that status should be anything like open working progress resolve or close or any from any status to be done so whenever the user will select done status that should go to the next label so in next label i want the actions so create confluence so create confluence or maybe create page now here we have create page in confluence so here we have to connect with our confluence login so let me connect it with this this is my confluence site i will save it and now it's done. The page title, we can give it according to our need. So let's say I am giving the uh, page title as transition. Issue and that's done. So, so this is a logical name which we are providing. So let's say if, if you are creating any issues, we, we can give any random name. So let's say my pages is regarding uh, issue number 13 so once uh, this 13 will be done so this transition issue id will take the title name space for which space i am tagging let's say i am tagging uh for this one and parent pages if we have any parent pages we can assign it otherwise we can keep it simple templates if you have any specific templates which we are using probably we can assign otherwise we can keep it at a simple label let's save this and after that, I want to add the comment in the issues. So when we want to add the comment again, this is an action. So I want to add comment. So maybe comment on issues. So what I need to comment in the issues. So here we will get the 
clarity about what we can add inside the comment we can use a number of issue fields in our text we we can use comment body we can use anything so here this is visible to internal only and public and if you will navigate it to this we have the smart suggestions so create a page and after that we can provide the detail so let me copy it here and add this after that we can add anything inside the comment which we are expecting so here create pages dot title then again i will add create pages dot url then create pages dot id even if we want reporter display name now this is a text uh, even we can make a customized uh, field like hi this created display in this issue is described descriptions hi uh fred so here we can provide the final descriptions about the details and even we can add the issue field descriptions so let me add it here inside the comment pages we can also add some of the templates uh, maybe we can add this one descriptions now we are adding inside the comments probably uh, we, we will be good for using this and now publish rule Maybe are not done for this one. Maybe let me remove this and here. maybe i will add this detail into my markup title a part of that i can also add yeah that's display name is fine or maybe issue fields that will be fine let me save this Cool. and then we will turn it on we have to provide create confluence pages done turn it on and then we'll go to the defects or issue id which is in to do condition so here let me delete this page because exactly same issue we are using and that's done here now this automation rule will be published what we will do we will make the update to done so this is done after that we will go to the sections because it's already enabled uh, we will go back to the automation rule and from here when we will go to the audit log inside the audit log we will find it out this is success so this rule is ran successfully let's check the update and here we have the update like ap13 pages created and once i will navigate it back i have this pages created created by the person name is showing here and when i will go to this ap13 we'll have some comments so comments contain this is done comments contain this url and so earlier this this was done by me only and now this two comments has been added with the order id purchase order id as well as my url and even i can see the reporter name so this is how we can automate a uh, creation of pages so this use case is generally let's say we have plenty of tasks to be done and after uh, completing these tasks we have to create the confluence pages so that we can refer it for the future point of view even new joiners will join 
uh, to any organizations they have clear idea about what we have built so far so this is helping a scrum team or a agile team to add all of their user story tasks subtasks inside the confluence pages so that it will be easy for the documentation point of view that's all about this video hope you enjoyed the content if you think so this will be useful don't forget to share within your circle thank you for watching